Welcome to James Explains, and today we'll be looking at a puzzle released recently by Matt Parker from Stand Up Maths. It's the first Matt Parker Maths puzzle. Here's how the puzzle goes. We have a table. This table has seven envelopes on it, each specifically targeted towards a specific person. We also have the seven people who these envelopes were meant for. However, when these people sat at the table, they did not sit in any particular order. Luckily, we're able to swivel the table to line the envelopes up with different people. The question was, what is our worst possible scenario for our best position of the table? He went on to explain that with seven possible positions of the table and seven combinations we have to make, this can be spread to have exactly one person in line with their envelope for any given position of the table. But how do we know this is possible? How can we work out how the table could be laid out to make this work? Let's take our table of seven, and instead of shuffling them around, we will assign one person to one envelope for each position of the table. We will start with the person at the 12 o'clock position on the table. As the table rotates one position, we then assign the next person to an envelope. This will be the next clockwise person around the table, or the person at the 12 sevenths o'clock position. As the table continues to rotate, we can continue to assign envelopes to people in clockwise order, until eventually we have assigned everyone an envelope. You'll need to try this yourself and keep track of each envelope number if you want to submit a solution to the puzzle. So, we know that this works for at least one odd number, but will this work for an even number too? Let's try this with a table of four. We will start with the same step of assigning an envelope to the person at the 12 o'clock position. Then, as the table rotates, we will continue to assign the envelopes to the next clockwise person. However, you may notice that the envelope in line with the next person has already been assigned to someone else. To try to keep this going, we will assign the only other possible pair on the table. Then, as we rotate, you can see that the only remaining person does not line up with the only remaining envelope. So it seems this may work for odd numbers, but not for even numbers. Why would this be, and how can we know if this holds true for all cases? Let's look at our example of 7 again, and keep track of the leading envelope and the next person to be assigned. As our envelopes rotate one spot counterclockwise, our next assigned person rotates one spot clockwise. This continues, you can see how these two positions behave. We can look at these two components as two counter-rotating circles, with the outer rotating clockwise and the inner rotating counterclockwise. So how does this make things different between odd and even numbers? Let's start by looking at an even number distribution. Even numbers distributed in a circle assuming we have one point at 12 o'clock, have both horizontal and vertical symmetry. The important thing to note here is that there is one point at the very top, and thanks to horizontal symmetry, it would also have one point at the very bottom. Odd number distributions in a circle behave differently, however. If we assume one point is at the 12 o'clock position, then we can see that there is vertical symmetry, but there is no horizontal symmetry. The main difference here that we want to take note of is that we have one point at the very top, but we don't have one at the very bottom. If we take a table of any odd numbered size, we can see that there is nobody sitting exactly at the six o'clock position. As we start to rotate our table and assign positions, keep an eye on both the leading envelope and the next assigned person. You'll notice as they approach the 6 o'clock position, that the next assigned person falls nicely into the gaps between the assigned envelopes, even as we continue to rotate. This holds true, allowing us to continue rotating until the whole table is assigned. However, if we have an even number of people on the table, you'll notice that there is someone sitting exactly on the 6 o'clock position. As we continue to rotate the table, and assign the next person, keep an eye on what happens. At the 6 o'clock position, you may be able to see the leading envelope will reach this position. 
At the same time, the next assigned person reaches this position. As you saw in the earlier example, if we cannot continue this pattern, then the system breaks down and we cannot assign one pair per table position. So you can see this pattern works for odd numbers of people, but not for even numbers. This means that for odd numbers, it is possible for the worst case scenario to be exactly one person in each position. But for even numbers, it is not possible to perfectly spread it like that, and therefore the worst case scenario still allows us to find a position with more than one match. In fact, the worst case scenario is exactly two matches, but I will leave that up to you for how to work that out. If you want to see the original puzzles for yourself and submit your answer, or to see more puzzles as they come out, I would encourage you to visit thinkmaths.co.uk slash mathspuzzles or follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions for future James Explains videos, please leave a comment to let me know.